What's up guys? So today we're going to take a look at a game that is actually 14 years old. This game came out in 2006. This is Star Wars Empire at War and the expansion pack is actually called Forces of Corruption. But this game has been kept very much so alive by its uh, modding community. Um, and uh, we're going to play one of the bigger mod packs of it out there. Uh, it's a complete overhaul pack called Awakening of the Rebellion. And it actually takes place after the destruction of the first Death Star. So basically, uh, you know, Empire Strikes Back and Beyond. So well, that's what we're going to do. And today we're going to play as the Empire for two reasons. One, if I win, I'll feel really good about myself. And two, if I lose, it's actually canonically correct. So, we're going to play a full campaign. I'm going to play on normal difficulty because I'm actually pretty terrible at this game. But I've been looking at it for a very long time and I really wanted to get into it. And between work and all the other games that I've been playing, I just never really had a chance. But since I'm starting this whole YouTube thing, I thought, hey, you know what? This might be my chance to kind of dive into this. Now, I've played probably about five or six hours into a campaign. Uh, as the Rebel Alliance, so I have a little bit of insider knowledge as to where the Rebels are hiding. So, eh, it might be a little bit cheaty. Um, I don't want to mess with any of the advanced options, because I don't think you can... Yeah, no, you can't adjust the tech level. I don't want to increase my credits or decrease my starting credits either, because then the AI will also get more credits. And uh, the AI already cheats, so why would I help them out? So we're going to go ahead and start it. Cool. So, uh, when we uh, start this, we get this little mission log here, and uh, as we progress, we'll get more missions, um, and they'll be given to us by uh, the Emperor, Lord Palpatine. So, like I said, uh, as you can see, after the destruction of the Death Star and the death of Grand Moff Tarkin, activities from rebels and pirates have increased in the Outer Rim and even within our territory. The need for a new Death Star is imperative. However, we need to solidify our front lines first. I am appointing you to head all Imperial military efforts to destroy the Rebel Alliance and anyone else who questions my supreme leadership. Meanwhile, Moff Gergerod is assigned to work on the new Death Star project. You are obligated to assist him in any matters that arise. Do not disappoint me. That's my best uh, Palpatine. So we're going to close this, pause this, and then we're going to click all these buttons here. It's going to give us all the display options that we need. So let's take a look at the galactic map here. Um, so as the Empire, we start out primarily in the deep core worlds. Uh, so it looks like we have a couple of heroes to choose from. We have Vader. We have... does I think Vader actually gets a... Yeah, he's, he should have a Star Destroyer. And then he's also a ground unit. So Vader's pretty good. Uh, we have these two guys. Uh, he's a governor, so he's good at politics. We have uh, Admiral Ozel, who <laughs> is a bad admiral. Uh, we might not want to use him, but uh, it looks like he also has a, an ISD. So that's uh, Imperial Star Destroyer. Ooh, we have a Venator. Um, we don't get a whole lot of Venators, and uh, because the Empire's... Uh, Fighters don't actually have hyperdrives. What we do is we rely on a lot of uh, carriers and uh, ISDs for combat. So we're going to be relying on these heavy, expensive ships. So we want to try to minimize our losses as best as possible. I mean, ultimately, because of the uh, Rebels' ability to hit and run and their 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 starfighters having the ability to jump into hyperspace, uh, that's what causes the Empire to fall because it only takes a handful of X-Wings and Y-Wings to destroy a, an ISD. So you're talking about a couple of ships that cost maybe two, three thousand credits can take down something that costs, you know, 14, 15,000 credits, right? So that's a, that's the, the, the battle we're going to be fighting. So it's going to be a losing battle. We have this guy here who has an at -AT. Sweet. So we have an early game at, -AT So he's going to be probably leading our ground assaults. Uh, we have the quad drive yards uh, with the victory already stationed there. And you know what? Real quick, I'm going to spare myself the trouble and move you and pause it again. Actually, that was Rendelli I was looking at. Uh, so Rendell. So we have nothing here, but we have a couple of ground troops, and we have uh, Genie 
least as much as he is immortal. Okay, so is he super smart and can't die, or is he dumb as rocks? Uh, Okay, so he's a scientist, so he'll increase the production here. So we actually want to keep him up at quad because the this is where we're going to be building our uh, our ISDs. As you can see, uh, they're quite expensive, and they do take a lot of time to, to make. Um, so we have right off the bat, looks like access to victories, which is good. Uh, victory twos uh, require a space tech of two, so we don't have him yet. Uh, Tector classes, uh, if I recall, they're... They, these guys don't have fighters. Yeah, no, they have no fighters. Um, these guys do have fighters. Uh, and this is ISD-1, so we can make him. We don't need a tech level. These guys, we need a tech 1. And what is this guy? This is an ISD-2, and that requires a tech 3. So we can't do... So basically, we have two Star Destroyers that we can start the game with. The victory is actually pretty good. It's like a good anti-capital. Um, it also has a... If I remember, it has a bunch of missile pods, so it should be able to take down some fighters. So we're going to use these guys in conjunction with the uh, the proper ISDs. We also are going to need a bunch of frigates. Uh, Cato Nemoidia, you have nothing special. Corellia, you have a shipyard. And again, I'm going to go ahead and do myself a favor here. So I do that because when you start... Uh, building ships, what they do is they end up going into this bubble, and each planet actually has three little bubbles on it. There's a left, and top, and right. So the ships will start spawning there. So in order to see that I have a ship ready, um, I need that bubble available. Otherwise, I'm just going to see the the shipyard there, which I mean, I already know it's there, right? Unless of course the planet gets attacked and they blow up my shipyard, which would be pretty awful. Um, if I recall, we also have southern territory. Oh, we sure do. Um. Let's see here. We have Grand Moff Zergerado. Okay, so he's the guy we're going to be protecting uh, when uh, we get the uh, uh, second Death Star up and running. I, I don't know if we actually do get the second Death Star up and running, but that's what I gathered from that mission log there. Uh, there's a Venator stash there. So what we might want to do is consolidate a fleet in the southern territories here. Uh, just to keep uh, the rebels and the, the the black sun, who are the yellow, uh, off of his back. Um, so we don't know quite yet that the rebels have stationed themselves at Hoth. So this is like literally, literally right after the destruction of the first Death Star. So I know from playing as the Re Rebel Alliance that the rebels are actually uh, down at Anuat, Hoth, and Mustafar. And uh, I think Aluin uh, is a capturable for them. So what I might do in order to pin them down at Hoth, I might consolidate my fleet here, go take Aluin real quick, and hold it. That way, I know these guys can't move. And I know Princess Leia and... Um, um, uh, what's her name? Mon Mothma. Mon Moth... Mon Motha. Mon Mothma. I can't remember her name. But I know she's down here as well. So if I can keep those two pinned down, that'll keep a lot of their leadership kind of bogged down in this area. I think Luke and Rogue Squadron are down here too. Um, we can also go take Bespin because I think they have Tabana gas platforms there. And I think Ordabana you can do. Yes, you can do Tabana gas platforms here too. So we also can take a look at... Uh, Looks like we control the Ma and Kessel. Now I know the the rebels uh, control Onderon, Kashyyyk, Umbara. I think Nimban is actually in Hut territory. Now uh, Hutta, I think the Huts own this this area here. And I think the rebels also control Manan. Uh, the Hapes, uh, the, all the Hapes planets here. They, they I think they hold uh, Terraphon and. Uh, uh, Thrakia, uh, and then the Black Sun, of course, control Mandalore, the Wheel, Jimban, Dathomir, Polis, Taris. Uh, the Rebels, of course, are on Yavin. Damn Rebel scum! And uh, Moncala uh, is where one of their major shipyards is. So we could try to push to Moncala and take away their their ability to get cheaper Mon Calamari cruisers. Uh, if uh, if we can eliminate their MC-80s uh, right off the bat, I'd be super happy. Uh, this is another third faction up here, uh, so we're not going to worry about them too much. And I believe the Rebels also control all these planets here. Uh-huh. 
Uh, we have Black Suns at our border here uh, through uh, Orb Mantel, Aiden, Andamar, and uh, Ilum, and Jetta. So what I might also look into doing is clearing them out of Jetta, taking Intersection 5. That way I have this whole ring here, and then I only have to defend uh, Bill Bringy and Intersection 5. And I can keep the... Uh, the black sun out of the area uh, i don't necessarily want to eliminate the black sun early because i need the rebels to have someone to fight and the black sun they're they're not on anyone's side they're they're, they're pirates they they want they want to win this war just like the rebels want to win this war just like the empire wants to win this war so we're gonna go ahead and kind of consolidate our borders to the core worlds and then we'll probably start making our move through the south. Um, so I want to take Aliwin. I'll probably take Slewis Vaughn and Utapau. Uh, and I might look take, look to taking uh, Ordo Plutonia and Rhodia. And that way I have one access point from Rhodia and then Aliwin. And then I can just hold Ordobana, Falene, Rhodia, and Aliwin. And this whole sector can be under my control. And that way I don't have to have, uh, you know, 16 fleets running around chasing pirates. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, cut the recording real quick because I want to let the dogs out before I get too carried away here. So I'll meet you guys back here in a GIF. Okay, so we're going to consolidate our space fleet here in the core. We're going to consolidate our space fleet here in the south. And then we're going to... Uh... Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll take Aliwin. Uh, we're going to try to beat the Rebels to the punch here. And if we can hold Aliwin, kind of cut them off from getting into Bespin. Because uh, Lando Calrissian is at Bez Bespin. And I don't want them to get Lando. Uh, he's a pretty good governor. Uh, we'll pull this victory off of the Maw. And we'll put him on Kessel. Just to hold Kessel. Uh, Jaeger Miner. Uh, more than likely what's going to happen here is... Uh, the rebels will consolidate on Moonalist and they'll go ahead and they'll either take Kali or Yega Mina first, but they're going to start making their way from there down through Ord Montel. Uh, Aether, so maybe what I want to do is take Kurulag and maybe I'll leave you on Kurulag and just so I have something there. And I'll gather up uh, the Venator, the Victory. And this guy with Lord Vader. And we'll go take Jetta. I like this plan. I like this plan a lot. Yeah, we'll gather those guys up and we'll go ahead and take Jetta. Um, at Corellia, you can build cruisers. So instead of going for another victory off the bat, what I want to do is I want to build a couple of our Quintons. Uh, our Quintons are they're, they're long range, uh, basically scout ships. Uh, and they. Uh, they're pretty decent at taking down fighters. Uh, they're not the best, uh, but more importantly, they're good at uh, just constantly attacking uh, other frigates and capital ships. And then we have you a dreadnought. We do have dreadnoughts. So dreadnoughts are good because they can they they have a strong hold. They can take a hit, um, and they have a brace uh, thing. So they 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 reduce the incoming damage to their hull. Um, they're they're not super punchy, but they can take a punch. And then. Do we have Lancers yet? Uh, we do not have Lancers yet, but we do have uh, Carracks, which are, uh, they're good like anti-frigate ships. So maybe what we'll do is we'll do one of each and that'll be our initial 10K spent. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpause it. I can control with the, yeah, I can. Cool. So I'm gonna unpause it. Uh, looks like we got another mission. No, this is just the starter brief. Okay, cool. We'll gather up this fleet and hopefully we'll just go ahead and take Aliwin without any uh, contest. We'll build a, a, a Golan platform there and we'll see about getting a couple more uh, frigates built down in the south here. I don't think, I don't see we uh, uh, any shipyards here. So uh, we can build, we can build a frigate yard here. Where are you? You're going to? Uh, we might consider doing a Golan too. And what are you? You are Imperial Mobile. 
Oh, those are those mobile platforms. Those are actually pretty good. Uh, you can kind of move your space station around. I might play with that. Uh, you don't even have a goal on one there. Huh. That could be a problem. Right? Maybe you do, and I'm just not seeing it. What is this? Is this a capital yard? Ooh! So maybe what I'll do is on Solist I'll build a capital yard, and on Eridu I'll build a uh, frigate yard. That way uh, I don't lose both of them if they come in. And then I can build some capitals and some frigates down here in the south. I'd like to get that frigate yard built first. So we're going to go ahead, unpause it. We're going to gather up our fleet. Because we seem to have Navigating. quite a few starships I down agree. here. Advancing. Confirmed. And oh, I missed one on falling Navigating. and we'll pause it again so those guys are going to move that way uh, we're going to leave you at Kurlag and we'll gather up you, you, and you stack you on uh, Vader so we'll just move you all to Fresha right away so we're going to grab Vader move him over And we'll we'll let uh, the the frigates build up on Corellia real quick, and then we'll go ahead and we'll go take Jetta. Because uh, I want actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll let the frigates build up, and actually, I want to put them on Kato Namoria because I don't want to take a rebel attack from Manan. Um, and I want you on Coralag, so that if I need to, I can bounce you to uh, uh, Karita. And build Bringy, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna leave you. No, actually, we're gonna go ahead and drag you off too, and we'll put you on Fresha. We're gonna lose a couple of planets here in the beginning. There's no avoiding it. Um, that's just kind of the nature of the game. You're gonna lose planets, you're gonna gain planets. Uh, all right, so let's consolidate him there. Looks like we got a plenty large enough fleet. We're gonna move to Aluin. Hopefully there's no one here so we can just take it. Um, ooh, the rebels are already here. Okay, no big deal. Uh, so they're gonna have a larger fleet than us. So maybe what we can do is just try to whittle down their numbers. We'll retreat. It'll probably put us back on Sullust. I'm hoping I don't want to go to Ordabana because then I'll have to come all the way around and back to Sullust if I want to defend Sullust. Uh, but if we can deal a decent hit to the uh, the rebel fleet here, I'll be pretty happy. I didn't I didn't check what what sort of units they had. I'm hoping it's just a bunch of fighters. Oh, and I didn't set a Pathfinder either. Well, it's okay. Uh, we're gonna... I don't think they... Oh, they do have a space station here. Oh, I might have been mistaken here, guys. Um... Alright, we're gonna let these guys drop out all their fighters, and we're gonna see about maybe trying to deal a heavy blow. It looks like a lot of their heroes are actually just governors. Uh, this guy is the only, uh... Um... Uh, general, uh, admiral... Star Destroyer standing by. Oh. Star Destroyer reporting in. Hmm, so maybe what we want to do... Yes, Commander. We have quite a few ties. We actually have Arc 170s too, so... These guys are pretty decent. It's probably because of the Venator. Um, let's see about... I don't want to split the feet in the fleet. I really want these guys to be. Uh, let's take all of our fighters. Uh, bomber standing by. Bomber squadron reporting. And we only have one bomber here, so what I'll do is I'll set you to anti fighter. We're gonna call you Group One, and we're gonna consolidate you guys over here real quick, so I can uh, select my capitals. It looks like they're not going to try to rush us. They're going to wait for us to come in. So what I want to do is we're going to make this, these guys a battle group. 
And let me get my fighters out of the way over here now. <laughs> I'll get this this Dreadnought, this Victory, and uh, this Arquintans. This will be the other battle group. So, what I'll want to do is we're going to do a Spearhead. Probably with the Victory, because I don't want to lose the uh, the Venator. Uh, unfortunately, because the, uh, the Empire... Again, uh, relies a lot on uh, carriers for its fighter fleet. I do not want to lose this Venator. So, we're going to move the whole group together. And hopefully, we can draw them out. Uh, maybe put our Quintons kind of at range. See if we can't uh, take a couple pot shots, draw the, uh, the, Rebel, the Rebel Alliance out. The Rebel Scum! And if we can get them to send their fighters and bombers at our ships, uh, our, uh, we, we have an overwhelming number of uh, fighters here. So, oh, uh -huh. this guy has long range guns, if I remember from Marauders. Uh, yes. So it looks like they just have a crap load of fighters here. So we might not be in too bad a shape. couple of dreadnoughts there we are all right stop the fleet uh, we're gonna get all of our fighters pull them back so we don't lose them to the uh, the station's turbo lasers uh, let's see about maybe getting a dreadnought in range we'll kind of go off to the side with these guys Get our Carrick over here. We'll pull our Quentin forward. I mean, our Acclimator. We'll get the Arquintans. We'll pull these two up here. All right. We're going to take our fighters, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that we are targeting... Okay, they are taking out that Acclimator, which is okay. We want to make sure that we take out their Y-Wings first. Um, get our fighters in here. The A-Wings I'm not super, super worried about. We need to make sure that those Y-Wings go down. And also these little missile boats, too. Uh, what I should do is I should have these guys target the frigates. I'm going to pull you back. Because you're going to start taking too many hits here. Uh, missile barrage. Where are my fighters at? Uh, make sure you guys are targeting those bombers, please. I want to make sure... Pull this acclimator back. This guy's hurt pretty bad. Let's get him out of range real quick. See if we can't take out uh, more of these these fighters here. Uh, who's hurt? We're gonna go ahead and pull back. I do not want to lose this Venator, but it looks like we can take out a couple of these Dreadnoughts. Uh, hopefully a bunch more of these fighters. Right. Okay. Someone lost an engine. Uh, was it the Venator? Oh, it was the Venator. Did we lose both engines? We sure did. So a retreat right now is not an option. Let's go ahead and focus on you. I want my fighter group back. We're going to go ahead and target these. Uh... These Corvettes. We can actually 
actually deal a sufficient amount of damage here. They're not going to get away. Uh, can we take out these Y-Wings, please? Thank you. So we're targeting him. Make sure these Y wings are going down, please. I really don't want to lose this Venator here. I don't think we're going to be able to take the station right now, but we're going to certainly drain them of their ability to uh, fight back. Let's take out this Marauder, please. Uh, you. Shit, we just lost another acquaintance. Um... Level two? Yeah, it's a level two base. Awaiting orders. These dreadnoughts need to go down. Uh, can we get you guys to attack? Uh, can you guys hunt down, please. I want you guys again after those Y wings. Uh huh. Now you guys see why it's so important to get on that anti-fighter right away. You gotta micro all of these units. We took down a bunch of their heroes here. Uh, we want to go ahead and make sure that we get this guy down. I don't think we're going to be able to take down the, uh, the Golan platform with this force. Um, we're probably going to lose this Venator because if I try to hyperdrive out of here... It's going to be no good. Uh, all fighters, please, please, please get down, get rid of the rest of these freaking X-Wings. And then we can go ahead and target the, uh, the station. Um, I'm going to let your shield come back online. I'm going to let you sit there it looks like we're just outside of the range of that station now i don't know if we're going to be able to take it but if we abandon the fight we're going to lose our venator we have an arquintance we have a dreadnought and we have a victory too so what we might consider doing we're going to hold here they don't have any more reinforcements that can come in so we're actually we're actually safe right here um so we're going to let these guys' shields kind of come back online. I'm going to fast forward real quick. Uh-oh. Looks like I was mistaken. They have transport? Okay. Maybe that was a... Uh... A reserve force of some sort. Does this have like a, a heal over time kind of deal going on? Um, no, 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 no. It does not have a heal over time. Um, All combat personnel standing by. Uh -huh. Well, well, well. I think the first thing we want to do is take down 
the shield generators. Maybe what I can do is I can send in the fighters. Uh, shoot. Yeah, we'll send in the fighters, take out the shield generators. Send in the arcs after the X-Wings. Actually, I'll send these guys after the X-Wings too. We'll send you guys after the transport. Put the Arc 170, I mean not the Arc 170, the, uh, the Arc Wintons. Call you Group 1. I don't know if we're going to win this fight. We're going to let the shields come back on my guys. We're going to set that Dreadnought in to kind of tank the damage. Two X wings left there. Yeah. All right. You calling for me, sir? Going for the lasers. Fire. Take out those X wings, please. You guys, we're gonna have you uh, start targeting the uh, shield generator. Actually, I want to pull you back. You're going to stay right there. I don't want you to do anything. I want to make sure that I've got this guy up in front to start tanking damage. Oop. I meant to go control A, not control 1, but that's okay. And we're just going to go ahead and target that shield generator. These guys can move. They're going slow because. No, 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 no. That one squad of X-wings just take out all of my guys. This is not good. This is not how I wanted this campaign to start. We are doing hardly any damage to this thing. Uh, let's get out of here. Get you out of here. Let's get you out of here. Yeah, I don't want to lose these two too. So we took out their whole fleet, but unfortunately, this platform is going to be too much, uh, too much for us to handle with uh, this few ships. We're going to lose this Venator. I'm going to just go ahead and retreat. Oh shoot! And I just let them take out my engines. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh no, I'm going to lose the victory too. Oh, Poodle. <laughs> but we killed their entire fleet here. So, uh, awaiting command. Not super good, not super bad. But we eliminated the rebel fleet here in the south, so it's it's okay. Uh, I want to get started. No, wait. Not you. I want to get you. Oh, I gotta wait for the next week. So Eridu, we'll go ahead and get the frigate shipyard going up, and then at Sullust, we'll uh, we'll focus on getting that capital shipyard up once we have the funds for it. Uh, we have Confirmed. him ready, and we're gonna go ahead and move to Jeddah with Vader. Uh, if we lose this battle here. Uh, I'm going to try to pull out before we lose Vader because I do not want to lose Vader this early in the game. 
Uh, where did their fleet go? Okay, it's a couple of ISDs versus platform. I hope it's just a level one platform. Ah, I didn't set a pathfinder again. Uh, We've spotted the enemy fleet, my lord. Actually, we'll just move attack. Uh, are you done popping out fighters? As you wish, my lord. They're gonna jump out. Yeah, that's okay. So we'll win this fight without a fight, uh, which is nice considering the fact that we just had a major loss in the Southern Rim. So the next thing we want to do now that we have uh, Jetta, we're gonna have to go take it, take the ground as well. Um, we have a new uh, thing. The Emperor uses fear to control our civilians and stop traitorous acts. If you wish to please your Emperor and stop more of our people to support the pesky rebels or join the criminal gangs, you better fulfill his missions. The Emperor can be very generous, so once he notices you are doing his missions, he will surely hand uh, more of them to you and reward you even better. Uh, so. Looks like uh, we're we're keeping the uh, the empire under control with fear. I know as the rebels, you're trying to win hearts and minds. Uh, with the empire, you're trying to stifle hearts and minds. So, <laughs> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and consolidate our ground forces. Uh, right, I need to unpause. We're gonna consolidate some ground forces. Move uh, these guys into space here. I'm going to drag you all the way across the galaxy, and we're going to get a nice little landing party. Um, I need to come to Quat and pull you guys out. And we'll go ahead and move you. Carrick's going to be right uh, there. We're going to move you to Cato Nemordia. Pull you. And you. And we'll kind of keep these guys here. We're going to pause again real quick. Um, shoot. Uh, that's right. Uh, cap yard. Construction. So we're going to get the capital yard here. Iridu's got, already got its frigate yard going. It's almost done. Once we have that done, we can start building more frigates. So I want to get a couple more Quintons, a couple of, uh, Carricks, uh, uh, and then I need to get a couple of ISDs built. Uh, so that's where I'm going to do it on Sullust. Uh, hmm, um, right, I also wanted to make sure I moved you For the glory of the here. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll move you to Karita. Heading to destination. Uh, and then... Now that you're done, I'm going to go ahead and build an acquaintance real quick. And then next week we'll go ahead and we'll build two characters I think we'll have the funds for. And then we'll just start consolidating my fleet on Sullust. Uh, that's going to take a while to complete the, the structure there. And then we'll save up like two, three weeks and we'll build an ISD on Sullust. And now that these guys are here, hold on. Uh, Inquisitor training. The Emperor demands Lord Vader to withdraw from the front lines and come come back to Coruscant. Uh, there shall be uh, there he shall train uh, our new Inquisitor recruits. Uh, okay, so looks like I'm gonna have to pull Vader 
off this fleet here. We'll go ahead and drag him back to Coruscant. I want to consolidate all of you guys into one unit. We're going to go ahead and send you to Jeddah. We're going to do a ground invasion on Jeddah while we're still holding the orbit there. And again, I want to... Oops. Shoot, uh, here we do. Uh, pull you over and put you over here. Oh. Looks like we're gonna have to drop him down. Okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and wipe the floor with these guys. Looks like they have a uh, one unit of hovercraft that is bought and paid for, and they'll probably have a bunch of other troops thanks to their structures on the ground. And oh, we get the speeders. Neat. So let's bring in some ground troops here. Um, maybe we'll get a couple of walkers. Inputting coordinates. We'll get troop transport, and we'll get our ATAT -AT in. And we're just gonna do a show of force here. Maybe we'll get a couple of. Uh, Stormtrooper squads coming in. Moving out. Capacity. General Veers has landed. Commence primary ground assault. Okay. So this should be plenty of units here. Uh, we have a nice mix of. Uh, Ready for recon. I'm Ready call you move. Group One, Here and I'm go. just gonna go ahead and move you. There. Uh, looks like there's a capturable yeah, here. Oh, there's a mine. You want to get these because they give you a crap load of credits, so... Alright, so maybe what we'll do is we'll consolidate all of our armor into a group. We'll call you Group 2. And then we'll get all the troops. And we'll call you guys Group 3. So we're going to send our scouts out and we're going to find out where their encampment is. It's usually like on the opposite corner, but sometimes it's in weird places. So I like to check the whole map. Oop, there it is. Yep, alright, cool. Uh, oh, maybe we can kite them back to us. Uh... Oh, and those missile vehicles. Uh, so maybe what we'll do is we'll move our infantry. And then we'll move our walkers. And I could load up these transports, but... I'm just going to use them as a covering fire. They, they have some decent armor. And I believe they drop... Uh, Ammo is that? Affirmative. Okay, so they'll increase the fire rate of nearby. All right. What is your order? New coordinates. So what I'm going to do then is we'll go ahead and we'll move move up to about Next here. Row. And as soon as we make contact, we'll uh, we'll have our guys t start taking cover, and then we'll move up the armor. Moving out. All right, take cover. And then we're gonna go ahead and move up our armor. We're gonna have them move attack to right here. Oop. No, I wanna I wanna come down to Damn storm troopers couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. What are you doing? I want you guys to focus on the missile units. Focus on the inventory squads. Uh, 
Uh, looks like they have more missile units back here. Yeah, this guy right here. Yes. We might have lost, lost a group of walkers there. I should have taken one from each squad and just kind of tucked it in the back. It's okay, though. Okay. We're just going to control A. Actually, we'll move attack to here. And we can pull you guys out of cover because it doesn't look like there's any more guys trying to shoot at us so we're gonna go ahead and take down this guy let's let's focus on this right here looks like maybe was that it ready to receive your transmission you men take the plank scanning area um oh they have one unit what are these mines? Uh, looks like maybe mercenaries. That's another mine right there. Vengeance is ours, men. The spirits of our fallen brothers will sleep soundly tonight. Oh, we might have lost a group of uh, ATSTs there, but it's uh, it's okay. Oh, we didn't. All right, cool. Planetary control achieved. So we're gonna hold Jetta. Maybe keep the fleet there. I kind of want to move to intersection five, but it looks like the maybe the black sun is hanging out there. So uh, we'll wait until we get Vader back. Um, how's this coming along? It's almost there. Uh, we'll get a couple of Carracks and maybe a couple of Dreadnoughts, and then we'll sit there and wait, and then we'll spend our next big ma uh, chunk of change on an ISD when this guy's done. In fact, we can probably, because they're going to be cheaper here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll build an IST. Oh, hey, hello. Looks like maybe maybe they're trying to stack troops on Manan. So maybe we'll we'll hang out at Cato Nemoidia. KDY demand. Uh, Quat Drive Yards made us an offer. They would like to, us to purchase their ships. If we succeed, KDY will send us a representative to negotiate us a 15% price discount for their ships. Oh, shoot. If we fail, we might lose their trust. Uh, construct the request unit uh, in time. You want me to build an ISD, and I have 25 weeks to construct it. Uh, I mean, I, I need ISDs anyway, and they're gonna. And they also want me to build four our Quentin's light cruisers uh, do I have to build these at quat um, that's okay uh, we'll we'll build the ISD first because I'm gonna need that and then uh, we'll at Corellia we'll build f uh, two our Quentin's there and then we'll build two more Quentin's at Eridu right away um, cause I'm gonna need the Arquintans anyway, they're, they're pretty decent, uh, little ships. That's pretty cool. Uh, what are you? Upgrade to frigate. Uh, uh, shipyard fighter extension. Upgrades the frigate shipyard, uh, to a frigate shipyard fighter extension. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, maybe... Mission log updated. Uh, Inquisitor training successful. So we have, uh, two Imperial Inquisitors now. Let's take a look at these guys. Hold on. Uh, all right, so we got Vader back in orbit too. That's good. Uh, reporting directly to Lord Vader, the prime directive of these dark side adepts is to hunt down the last of the Jedi. Uh, are they force users. They are force users. So it looks like these guys are actually going to be maybe like Sith apprentices, but uh, the rule of two prevents the, the Sith from taking over. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take Vader. I'm going to move him down to Keda Nemoidia because I just saw the rebels stacking troops on Manan. And I really don't want them to penetrate the core. Because uh, if they do, they're going to come through. They'll sweep through Keda Nemoidia. And if I lose Quat, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So I basically want to stack us so that they have to take the long way into Quat. If they come take Korolag, they still have to get through Karita. 
And they might... Uh, we're we're going to go ahead and move Vader to Kaden Uh What... We'll have him hang out there. We'll build a secondary fleet, and uh, we'll we'll stack more more guys on a uh, Jetta here. What I want to do though is I want to set you as my Pathfinder, and uh, maybe what we can do is we can take these guys in orbit here, and we'll go ahead and reinforce Kuralag, uh on the ground. So worst case scenario, we can uh, we can hold the ground. Um, all right, guys, so this is where I'm going to wrap up today's episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like on that like button. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, and as always, uh, may the force be with you. <laughs> Later. Later.